subscribe to my channel click on bell icon to get notification about new video when we put a pencil in a container containing water what we observe is the pencil is seen to be broken but is the pencil actually broken of course the answer is no or if i'm going to observe a swimming pool what i see is there is the difference in the depth of the swimming pool means the swimming pool or the floor which i'm observing is seem to be a bit above than the original so is there continuous shifting in the floor of the swimming pool of course not now all these things is due to a reason what is the reason the reason is refraction of light so in the today's session what we are going to learn is we are going to learn what do we understand by refraction and how exactly it happens or how it alters the way we see the things so let us begin so what will be the basic definition of refraction of light i'm going to say bending of light when light travels from one transparent medium to another transparent medium is called as refraction of light now if i'm saying light is bending when it travels from one transparent medium to another transparent medium then what do i understand by transparent medium transparent medium i am going to classify into two types the first type of medium will be rarer medium and the second type of medium will be denser medium now what is rarer medium rarer medium is a medium in which particles of the medium are far away from each other and denser medium is a medium in which particles of the medium are closely bonded with each other so the basic example of rarer medium will be air and that of denser medium will be solid and liquid so air is an example of rarer medium solid and liquid are the example of your denser medium so let us begin let me consider a surface i am going to name this surface as x y now what exactly the surface is doing the surface is separating two medium that is above this i have rarer medium and below this i have denser medium so let me say this is an example of a swimming pool means ye surface jo hai xy iske upar pura ka pura air hai matlab rarer medium hai aur niche pura ka pura pani hai matlab denser medium hai so idhar rarer medium ka example le liya humne air denser medium ka example le liya humne water now i'm going to say a ray of light is coming and striking the surface xy a ray which is coming and striking the surface xy this ray is called as your incident ray so incident ray is coming and striking the surface let me name it as a b now when i have named it as a and b the point at which it is striking a surface i'm going to draw a line perpendicular to the surface a line drawn perpendicular to the surface is called as normal to the surface i'm going to name this normal as mn okay now whenever a ray of light strikes a given surface it suffers partial reflection and partial refraction now what do you understand by partial partial means somewhat means thoda bahut thoda bahut light takra ke reflect ho jata hai aur thoda bahut light takra ke refract ho jata hai now it can be any ratio it is not like 50 50 ki 50% upar gaya 50% niche aaya no it completely depends upon our medium ki kitna light refract hoga kitna light reflect hoga it can be a ratio of 20 30 it can be ratio of 80 20 it can be 70 30 it can be any ratio it can also be 50 50 but not always 50 50 okay so if a incident ray is coming if you remember we have named our ray as a b so a b striking and suffering partial reflection partial reflection ka matlab aapke takrayega piche ki taraf jayega piche ki taraf ja raha hai b se jayega c ki taraf so b se c ki taraf gaya is ray ko hum log bolenge reflected ray so this is our reflected ray jaise hi ray reflect hua uske baad ray refract bhi hoga refract hoga lekin refract hone mein kya hota hai bend hota hai बेंड होने के लिए दो चांसेस है या तो नॉर्मल की तरफ बेंड हो सकता है या तो नॉर्मल से दूर बेंड हो सकता है अभी इसके पीछे भी एक कंसेप्ट आ जाता है वेन एवर अ रे ऑफ लाइट ट्रेवल्स फ्रॉम रेरर मीडियम टू डेंसर मीडियम द रे ऑफ लाइट बेंड टूवर्ड्स द नॉर्मल एंड वेन एवर इट ट्रेवल्स फ्रॉम डेंसर मीडियम टू रेर मीडियम द रे ऑफ लाइट ट्रेवल्स अवे फ्रॉम द नॉर्मल नाउ वॉट एग्जैक्टली इज हैपनिंग नाउ 
our ray of light is traveling from rarer medium to denser medium means the ray of light is going to bend towards the normal. So as you can see the ray of light got bent towards the normal. So this ray I'm going to name it as refracted ray. So ye B se gaya D ta. So hum log ka incident ray kya tha? AB. Hum log ka reflected ray kya tha? BC. Hum log ka refracted ray kya hai? BD. So yaha pe hum log ka refraction ka part complete hua. The angle between the incident ray and the normal is called as angle of incidence. The angle between reflected ray and normal is called as angle of reflection. So angle of incidence is named as I or it is denoted by I. Angle of reflection is denoted by R dash. Now the angle between refracted ray and the normal is called as angle of refraction which is denoted by R. By small r we denote our angle of refraction. Now, if I'm going to extend my incident ray in a straight line, sida sida aage ki taraf leke aaye, to hum log ko kya dikhta hai ki hum log ka refracted ray koi to angle mein bend hua hai aur reflected ray bhi koi angle mein bend hua hai. The angle between the refracted ray and the extended incident ray is called as angle of deviation, which is denoted by delta. So angle between the refracted ray and the extended incident ray is called as angle of deviation that is delta. Also the angle between the incident ray and the reflected ray will be angle of deviation. I am going to name it as delta dash. The angle between the incident ray and the surface is denoted by theta g. Now theta g is called as your glancing angle. So here we have completed the entire diagram or I can say the ray representation of how exactly a given ray or incident ray gets reflected or how exactly it gets refracted. Hope the concept is clear to you. Just have a look.